Hey guys, I'm trying to be quiet because it's almost like 1am and thin walls, but I literally have to make a video because I'm so, I'm changed. Look at me. Look at this. Oh, I'm changed. Um, I bought a thong at the Mannequin Pussy Show, and it's so fire. Okay, this show, literally. Okay, I already saw Mannequin Pussy before, and that shit changed me. That shit changed me. And I literally got my fucking leg tattooed in low key, my memory of well, not my memory of, like, that experience. And something that definitely was an important factor in my life. So I was like, okay, like, it's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna hit the same. But, like, we show up, venue fire. Venue fire. And, um... And then they start, and I'm like, oh my god, the vibes are off. It's not going to be as good. But then, but then, we start making an emotional connection. And shit gets deep real fast. So, like, it was started off real slow. And then, you know, we put a little, a little bit in there. And this is when... The emotional connection fully clicked. It was when they were playing Loud Bark. And Missy comes over to us. Um, and, you know, gives us, us four, the mic. And we literally sing Loud Bark. We literally sang. Literally mic not even on her. We sang Loud Bark. Guys, I needed that. Like, she let us sing for a while, and we were screaming, and it was fire. Um, that was honestly the freaking highlight. But the show was so good. Like, after that, it, I was just like, it was all like hard from there, like, like more hardcore. I don't, I know it's not hardcore, but like, you know what I mean. Um, once it started to get into that, I was just like, I, I couldn't stop. I was just like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Like verbally. And then like in these videos, I'm like, hey, like, cause it's just fucking like the bassist. I just fucking love him. Like, ugh, it's so good. Um, and obviously I love Missy and I love Maxine and the drummer, I think Kaylin. But anyway. Um, okay. So, why did this change me? <sighs> I mean, I needed to scream. I needed to dance, stomp, and headbang for like an hour and jump. So, like, I literally did all that. So, that was good. But, um, it also changed me because... The music was fire again and like just like the i don't know the stuff at the end i was just like i needed to hear this um and then all of the messages that missy delivered because she does that and that's the part that really affected me last time um but so she gave like her spiel again about like like, we all have this pit in our stomach and blah, blah, blah. She did do that. And that was nice to hear again. But, and that was the thing that changed me last time. But the things that got me this time, it was, like, multiple times during the set. Like, she stopped and she would say something very, like, like, at one point she was, like, pussy. You can tell a lot about a person, about the way that they react to hearing the word pussy. And she's, like... 
specifically men. And so she says, any man in the audience? And obviously there's like a decent amount. And they're like, hell yeah. And then she's like, we're get, like, I'm like, I want you guys to say pussy. And then they all scream pussy. And she's like, mm. <laughs> and then she comes back and she says, um, I, and then she says something about like how, see how just one group of people is not that good. Imagine what we could do if we actually all screamed pussy. And then we all screamed it and it was fire. But I'm not explaining it well. Like, um, I'm not explaining this well, but like, basically the message that she was verbally more explicitly delivering that I'm mentioning but like very subtly was how see how the world isn't great when just one group of people operate like like just like one group or like one gender like see how powerful we all we all are when we're actually on the same level or like not even powerful but like see how much we can do when we're all on the same level and it was like low-key really powerful like it felt almost i don't know it was just like so clever in a way and also like really impactful and like a great reminder because i feel like sometimes very like feminist things can sometimes seem or sometimes are like man-hating and like i think that that's negative um and like also just like exclusionary and just the idea that like that's not what we're doing like we want to be treated equally with respect no matter who you are and it was just like such the way that she did it was just like such a nice way to like do to send that message like it was very powerful um and then another one was just about like we were in kentucky so she's like, yeah, I know the, oh, she's like, I know the politics in this state. And anyway, um, but she was just saying stuff about like, like voting and like all this shit and that our government does and like how the, like how we're literally structured to just consume and it kills all of our creativity and like encouraging us like if you like want to make something go make it like we are literally being manipulated to have lack of um creativity due to all this consumption culture and like basically the whole entire premise of our society and i completely relate to that because i can always notice like when my creativity goes up it's when i'm not consuming so much like media or just like people or like anything um and also when i'm not stressed at all i'm just not stressed so yeah that was real but what else i don't know she was just like she was she was being real political tonight real political and I think that's great <laughs> and I um, I do think it's great because I completely agree with everything that she says but also I know that everyone thinks this but like it's just the truth honey honey it's the truth it's plain and simple about some things like I don't know but it was just a really good show and I and I had like such a nice time like just like being able to talk about it and stuff um with everyone and about life but yeah I'm gonna put in literally like maybe all the videos that I have on my phone because then I won't have to put them in my camera roll for storage you know for storage purposes so I just have it on YouTube if I want to watch it in one big reel that's kind of crazy i don't know we'll see how much storage i have but i kind of want to put them all in some of them most of actually like almost all of them kate took but then i took like the last three or something that i'm gonna put in here um my videos are so like 
weird because I'm really bad at filming them um because I'm also like moving and um and also <laughs> yeah also you can literally hear me like singing in them or I'm screaming in them but honestly it was nice because I didn't really know what my shout sounded like like my like shouting voice because like I've screamed before but in like a very like I don't know almost like a character way but this was like my genuine yell and I just have never heard that so that's nice um but yeah I literally had to talk about this because I just like came home and like even though we talked about it like most of the drive home I I just came home and like started watching the videos and I was just like fuck yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah <laughs> to every video and I had to get this out um of my chest right now like it's happening right now I had to get it out it was such a good concert guys I'm so happy that I think it's actually wild that I've had two like crazy life affecting concerts from one band like in the same tour like that i don't have these like revelations with bands or really like i don't know i mean sometimes i do but not in the way that it's because of their concert if that makes sense so i don't know this is like interesting for me it's like am i just finding the type of people that I really relate to like I don't know what it is I just really connect with them I connect with them deep um but yeah I guess that's it god I'm literally gonna go watch the videos again bye okay I did forget one thing that she said because she mentioned that they recently were supposed to have a show in Asheville, North Carolina. And obviously they got hit by the hurricane, so they did not play that. But she was saying, like, we have a lot of close friends there. And, like, they lost everything that they have ever worked for. Like, people lost everything that they have ever worked for. And... Then she says, we're all closer to having nothing than we will ever be to being a billionaire. <sighs> Y'all, that's the truth. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, um, 1% of people get it's just that, it's just that 99% of people don't have, like, like, there's no safety net. No one's gonna do it for them. The government can't take care of them. And they're not a billionaire, because only 1% of people are. Like, like, if you suffered from the hurricane... The government's like, so what? Not my problem. You know? Like, and it's just th the fact that it's, you lose everything. Everything. I don't know. That was, I don't know. I think that was a very, like, insightful way to just, like, talk about capitalism and also just the idea of keeping the rich people very rich you know y'all let's bring it together okay let's close the gap let's close the gap <sighs> okay bye
if you got to this point, good job. I can't believe that you did that, but I'm so grateful for them. This was such a good show. Again, I would literally see them anytime, anywhere. I don't think that they could ever disappoint, honestly. Um, yeah, like, also, shout out to Kate for taking all these photos of Missy eating on stage. Like, they're so freaking good. Um, yeah, so, thanks.